here with Miss Macy, and she is in the early stages of labor. Her temperature had definitely dropped this morning. Uh, we were at 98.2, and I expect it to keep dropping. I don't know if you can notice, but she's got the shivers, um, which is pretty normal. And she's definitely having contractions, I wouldn't say, with any regularity. She hasn't been pushing, um, but at this point, just letting her rest. And she's digging. Uh, that's another thing she does a good bit of is she'll sit there and dig. So her blanket's all messed up on the couch because she's digging. Um, but the puppies are still moving and she seems to be doing good. She, she's not eating now. Um, so she is not eating and she's still drinking. Uh, I have to go out with her when she goes to the bathroom to make sure her puppy doesn't come out. So um, I've been going out back with her. Um, and then here's the whelping area where she'll be having the puppies. I put up a curtain to give her a little bit of um, privacy. I've got a lamp over there um, to try to catch the birth on video and to give myself some light. And then my charts that I chart their weight, how they're doing, making sure they don't have cleft palate, things like that. I have a heating pad up under here now to um, make it warmer. And then I have a little basket over here that has a heating pad in it um, that I can put the babies if I need to kind of move them over. And then I've got towels. I'm about to move some extra towels. So I can shut this off. And then I've got my scale, some of my products, some extra whelping blankets. And then in that chest, I have some other things. And then we have some Christmas music playing, which I think will be pleasant. I'm gonna turn it more to classical when she gets into um, actual labor because I don't think I'd want to sit there and listen to that if I was in labor but classical might be nice but right now she's just resting and we'll try to let her rest for a little while and make sure she um is rested up for the puppies because mama you got a lot of puppies coming baby oh, I'm just tired but she's doing good all right it's 2 40 on Thursday, December 15th. Shelby's over there sleeping. She had her um, Christmas play this morning, so she's pretty tired. Macy's definitely still got the shivers. I think she's having contractions pretty consistently because she's grunting and definitely breathing heavier. She's preferring the couch, don't blame her. This is my favorite. I got the heating pad in there, so the cat's like, mm, I'm pretty sure I claimed this, so no puppies. That's where I put the puppies when I just need an extra hand. Um, so we're just waiting. The boys will be off the bus in about an hour, and we're just gonna wait and let her get some rest. Hopefully have puppies soon. All right, we're in here in the welcome box. It is almost eight o'clock. She's still having some shaking. <laughs> and um, you can tell she's having a contraction. Get It balls up right there like a basketball. She just keeps going through like waves of these where she just has um, moments of shaking and contractions. And then they wear off and she sleeps a little while and then they come back, so. Just watching her. I think it's going to be a long night. We're just going to keep watching her and I'm going to try to get as much on her as I can. She keeps digging. Okay. Good. Now we're getting up. Okay. So she's had pretty intense labor here lately. It is 10 o'clock on the 15th, and I feel like she keeps pushing, just waiting for her baby. I have her tail wrapped in this purple tape, medical tape. Her tail just got nasty last time, and it was hard to keep her clean during labor, and it 
caused some of her hair to fall out. I didn't like that. So I got this to wrap around it so that I can easily change it and keep her clean during the process. The cat is joining us. See, I'm emotional support. Everybody in my house has gone to bed. Shelby had her last day of school today, and then for Christmas, Pat had a fever of 103 earlier, so he's got to go to the doctor tomorrow. He can't go to school. And then, um, um, Thomas and Noah are going to school tomorrow, but, um, so they had to get to bed. We're just waiting. I'm getting baby out of there. That seems pretty good. I don't think that one will work. She's like, I don't know what you plan on doing with that. It's for the babies, Mama. It's for the babies. second one I was too busy freaking out so anyway trying to get everybody make sure everybody's safe and breathing but they're all doing good and mama's I think about to push all night on. so it is 3 20 in the morning on December 16th and um we have had four puppies one merle female right here one merle male one black female and one black male. Um, I can't honestly remember how many I videoed. Maybe two. Then one came and then the other one came like a second or two after. Just came right out after. So I was like trying to suction them and things like that. And then... Um, after the third one, it was like two and a half hours. So I was on the phone with the vet and they were saying, eh, maybe it's time to come in. Is she pushing? I said, yeah, actually she's pushing right now. And a puppy came out. And I was like, oh my God, there's a puppy. And they were super happy. So now she's had two more pushes. And I'm hoping that we'll have another puppy soon. But there's six, possibly seven more. So definitely gonna be maybe lunchtime on the 16th before they're all here but they're so cute Got my morning helper over here. Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey, wake up. Wake 
almost got four or five more. We're working on it. So it is, I don't know what time it is, 8.30. So it's been about nearing on three hours since a puppy. So I'm starting to get nervous. Um, but she's starting to push again. So I'm not going to um, call the vet just yet. I've got like three different vets that I'm kind of talking to. One being the stud owner, Shailene. Um, but she's in a conference, so I don't want to mess with her all that much. I know she's got work to do. So, um, but so far the consensus is it's good to get her up and walk around. We just did that. So I'm hoping that we'll have another puppy. I'm getting worried about the ones in there. I think just because I lost one last time and it was the last one, I worry about the ones that are left. I don't know. I don't know why she does this every time. Every time she does really good, like back to back to back. Very consistent. And then the last couple, it just takes her forever. I'm giving her some calcium, but the other vets said that that doesn't really help all that much. So, who the heck knows? Um, the babies are so sweet, though. They're so sweet. They stop trying to escape the yellow one. They've been getting some nits. In our house, when I used to nurse the kids, we called it niche. So when they were hungry, they'd say, want some meat? So you'll hear me say that about 65 million times over the next couple of weeks. But that's what I mean when I say that. <laughs> Everybody has their different word for it. One of my friends out in California, hers was, they called it Nini. So we call it niche. So when I say that, my kids know what I'm talking about. At least Shelby does, because she's the most recent. But that's so sweet. All right, Mama, let's get that baby out. Get them babies out of there. Come on. I feel them moving. Like, I feel them moving in her stomach. So, as of right now, I know at least one is okay. Because I feel it moving. And then normally it'll drop down to right here, like just below like her butt, like where the dookie comes out. And it'll drop right there and I could feel the puppy once it's right there. And when it is, I can open that up. This is totally graphic. Don't let your kids watch this. And I wanna say it was with number five, number four or five, I had to reach in there and grab it um, because it was coming out feet first and its shoulders were getting hung. So I just reached in there and gently like glided it out um, so that we could go ahead and get it out because she had been pushing quite a, quite a while with that one. So I wanted to get it out. But, um, and then the next one just came really quickly. So it's like, I guess it just depends on like how they're faced. And the first couple always come out in their sack. It's like a little balloon. I think I got one of the clips on there. They always come out in that. And then, um, um, they'll, after like the first three, they just like haphazardly come out of there. Like I've already got like four that placentas haven't come out. So that's something I chart and I have to keep an eye on because if the placentas don't come out, then like I got to take her in cause that can get infected. So it's like, I've had to keep track of the placentas and, um, um, so yeah, that's where we're at now.